Hello everybody, it is me, the lovely cat9453. Today we are playing a game called Goodnight Meowy. It is on Itch.io, but I believe this game was released about a week ago or so. Maybe within the week. I don't know. I don't even know what day it is. But we're here, and we're gonna play this game. Okay, press space to continue. So, I really don't know much about this game other than the fact that it has a cat. And I'm a brunette, apparently. And I use spacebar to click and things. It's Meowie and me. There's my cat's litter box. Why is the window taped? I don't understand. And apparently won't let me. Um, I'll take this. I'll take this. Um, what is up with the door? Can I come out of it? Nope. Okay. Well. If I can't get out of the door and now I still want something. Okay, I get that. If I can't get out of the door and I can't I, if I don't- are we in a zombie apocalypse or something? Because if that's the case, is that is that why the, the litter box is inside the home? So not only the cat can use it, but I also can? I don't know. Because if that's the case, it would make sense why Meowie is my one true friend. Um, I'm gonna feed you, Meowie. Here you go. And we're gonna play. Well, I'll feed you again. I love the cat sounds. That's adorable. We're gonna play. That is the cutest noise ever. I love this game's noise. Okay. Now he is the best. Yes, she is. And I'm gonna hold her now. Is there anything else? Um, she seems to like that. Well, I'll hold her again, and I guess we'll go to bed. She still wants something. I don't know what you want, cat. But if it was my choice, I wouldn't even name you Meowie. You wanna talk? How are you today, Meowie? Okay then. Well, since there's nothing else to do with my life during this zombie apocalypse or whatever it is, I'm gonna go tonight. So, good night, Meowie. Yay, another day, another cat with closed window and possibly zombie apocalypse and there's no food for either of us that's that's wonderful i love the fact that i need to find more food for meowie instead of myself during these dangerous times because the cat needs to live instead of myself um okay well let me talk with you are you hungry anyway i need to leave for a bit to go find food for you i'll be back soon okay meowie i know i'm sorry i'll miss you too Play a little bit before we leave. I'm gonna hold you a little bit more. Okay. Can I get out of here? Nope. Okay. I guess it's the, through the door. It is then. Through the door. Well. Um, okay. Nope. Nope. Can I? Can I? Just nope. Nope. I'm gonna go back to bed. I am not dealing with that crap. I'm not. I need to feed Meowie. Well, between my life and feeding Meowie, I would rather live, if that's okay. Guess not. Can I not run in this game? Is that not possible? No, it's not. Okay, well then. Through the hallway and doors of impeccable doom, where I probably will die, probably. Uh... Well, hello, red beautiful light. What are you? Can I go through you? locked. Okay. Well, it's nice to know I can't go through the door of impossible death. What about this one? Okay. Um, hi. Um, what's your name, Skull? Hi. Never mind, never mind, never mind. Okay. Skulls do not want to be disturbed of their internal sleep. Skulls do not like light. Skulls just rather hang out and just be nocturnal for the rest of their lives. So do not let the light on the skulls unless you want to die. Because that is an option apparently in this game. You can die. <laughs> I go through here? Nope, we're not. Nope, nope, no. Nope. Okay, really? Did I? I? I'm not dealing with those those skull things, whatever they are. No. Oh, no! Why? Why 
Why did that have to occur? It didn't have to occur. Just let me through. I never see that skull again. I didn't even know that one was there. Okay, well now I know. So don't go near that guy. Just don't. Why am I even doing this for a stupid cat? No offense. Even if that cat is my one true best friend. Why am I doing this? Why am I risking a life to get fish food for a stupid cat? I know that I might be crazy in the zombie apocalypse, but I'm not that crazy. Picked up food. Okay. I guess I'm gonna go back. Can I go back? And it's locked. Great! I'm stuck in a room after getting fish food for my cat. Is there another way out? Or am I just walked into a dead end? I'm in a dead end, but there's a key. And I'm questioning my total existence if I'm the only one in this room. Okay. Picked up the rusty key. I was right! I'm not the only one in this room! No, 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 no. I'd rather not die. I'd rather not die. I'd rather not die! Thank you very much. I'd rather not die. I'm not going that way. I'd rather not die. Whatever that red paw print thing is, i really rather not die. Either by the skulls or whatever it is. I'd rather not die. Just, I'd rather not die today or any other day because living, although boring and stupid, is better than being dead in an eternal sleep. I'll go home. Please, no red claws, spooky claw things. Please do not follow me. Please. Oh, gosh. Okay. Um. Hi. Um. Okay. Well, bye then. It's nice to meet you. I guess. Hey, Meowie. Feed you some food after, you know, almost risking my life to get you food. Good, I hope you're looking better after, you know, I almost died. Well, technically I did die twice, but she doesn't have to know that. Well, Meow is doing well. I'm gonna hold you. And I'm gonna sacrifice you to that whatever that creature is. Okay, no reason to leave anymore. Never mind. Well, Meow Me, I'm just gonna hold you while I go to bed now, because I'm scared. Good night, Meow Me. What's wrong, Meow Me? Are you sick? Yep, and I was right. Okay, I need to find some medicine. Because apparently I don't have anything in here after, you know, zombie apocalypse. I just decided, you know, don't grab supplies. Don't grab the food. Don't grab water. No, just grab your cat and two fish sticks and then go home. Be afraid of all the death that's surrounding you. And you locked yourself in, like, the weirdest room ever. Although technically maybe this isn't a zombie apocalypse. Maybe this is like a predator apocalypse where everything tries to kill you. I don't know. Either way, it's an apocalypse that I'm going to die. Okay. Yeah, moving now. That's great. That's great. You're moving. No. Uh, no, 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 no. Why? Why do I do this to myself? Oh, just not again! <gasps> sides and ignore it. Just go to the sides and ignore it. Just pretend it doesn't exist. Just pretend it doesn't exist. Just find yourself away from the skull things that try to kill you all the time. That's perfectly great. Oh yay! The blue room! So if Black Widow was in the red room, who was in the blue room then? I mean... Really, like, who was in the blue room? The red room's where Buckeye and... Buckeye and Bucky... <laughs> Bucky and Black Widow was, so... I wonder where I... Room was now. Okay, well... Great! More skulls! More skulls I can die from! That's great! Perfectly great. Per... Perfectly great. You get it? Per... Okay. Walking, because apparently you can't run in this game, although there's many dangers. I'm just curious where I got the lantern from. Because I don't see it in my room. 
so where did the lantern come from? Is it outside the hallway and I just leave it there when I go in this room? And if that's the case, then how is there light in this room, but in every single other room, there's no light? Questions. Questions I have, my friend. Feed you the medicine. Looks like that helped, and that's good. Meow me, we're going to play a little bit. And then I'm going to hold you. And you're going to bed with me. Good night, Miami. Even though you are a stupid cat, I love you. Oh, great! She's sick again! Okay, well. You get more medicine. I'll be back, Miami. I love you. Even though you are a stupid, annoying cat that pretty much everything you need leads to my ultimate death, but that's okay. Anything for your pet. You do anything for your pet. This is why I'm more of a dog person. Is it time to go into the big red scary door yet, or no? No? Great, okay, not the time. Can I go in here? Because that's where the medicine was. Hey! No spooky skulls! That means something bigger is going to kill me. Great! Okay, well... Hopefully it's not in the room with the medicine. Let's see if that plant regrew in a day. Probably not, but I'll take the risk anyway. Not like I'm risking my life as is for a dumb cat. And I was right. Empty. Hasn't grown back. Of course it hasn't. What am I, like eight? Let's go to a different door, then. Okay, where's the big spooky monster that's gonna kill me? I mean, let's- yeah, that's what I figured. I figured you were there. Okay. Oh, great! You can hear my heartbeat. Yeah, no, I'd rather not die today. Thank you very much. And that door's locked. Okay, so it looks like my cat is going to die. Great. And I will be all alone, not like I'm insane as is, but then, you know, since I see a bunch of skulls and paw prints, that's going to kill me, but... Meow me? No! Meow me? Meow me? Meow me! Meow me! What happened to you? Oh, Let's get you out of that blood. Hold you gonna hold you. Get you away from the blood. Poor kitty. I don't have anything to feed you. Could have done this. You were my only friend. I mean, like, even though you were annoying and everything, but you were my only friend. Even though, you know, you, you were annoying and you tried to risk my life to get your own food and medicine because you're just a cat and you're too lazy to get your own, but that's okay. That's perfectly okay, lazy cat, meow me. That's okay. Be free. Go to the window. Let's tear this window open. Be free. No? Okay, well, it's like a dead bird all over again. Okay. Let's go to bed. Good night, Meow Me. I'll hold you as you pass away. I'll hold the dead corpse. Great! Someone open the door. And that doesn't sound good either. Let me guess, Meow Me was taken. Yep. And spooky door open. That's why I always close my doors. OCD kicked in, and Meowmi's probably dead. Let's find the blood trail, shall we, friends? We're on to an adventure to find the bloody trail of my cat Meowmi getting killed by whatever that was trying to kill me. Is the red door open now? Oh, it is. Oh, okay. Well, this isn't good. Um. Hello? Meow me? Are you okay? You're bleeding again. Let's take you home. Let's really take you home, because I'd rather not die by whatever that creature is. Especially since I can hear my heartbeat now. Why can I not run in this game? Why is running not allowed? And why am I taking the cat back to my room? The thing already opened the door when I was asleep. I don't think that going to my room is going to help. 
but we'll try anyway, because I feel safe and secure there. And plus it's light, so maybe. I, I don't know. I just rather not die. I just rather Okay, never mind. Follow the cat. Follow the cat. Follow the cat. I'm trying to follow the cat. Okay. <laughs> just like, let me follow the cat out the window, please. I'd rather not die in this room. Did I die? Am I dreaming now? Yeah, me? It had been such a warm day. It was only natural for me to open the window. Okay, well, um, I guess the story of the apocalypse. Okay. I, are these supposed to be memories, I guess? You were always a curious one. But you had no idea about the danger that prowled outside. That's why you always sent me out to go get your food and medicine, so uh, you could get me killed instead of yourself. I still remember seeing your body, lying there in the grass. I wished with all my heart that it was not real. That it was just a nightmare I couldn't escape. Did my cat die? Meow me, did you die? Is this all it is? Is this just PTSD of me trying to recover with the fact that my pet died? held on to your presence in my mind. A light had missed the darkness all around me. But in the end, I couldn't escape reality. Well, that was blatantly obvious since, you know, the floating skulls that try to kill me every time. Miami, my one true friend. My one true love. Because I am a cat lady. Sweet! So we're outside where that big red creature was trying to kill me. That's great. Um, okay, guess we're going this way. Since, Yeah, I was right! Meow me died! Okay, that's great. PTSD for the win. Post-traumatic stress disorder for the win. Good night, Meow me. Great. So this game basically made me get attached to a pet that I didn't really want. Made me go through stuff to feed this pet, which I really didn't want to do because I'd rather not die. And in the end, get attached to a cat that died anyway. DDR Kirby and Cat Gia, you guys did a great job on this game. I felt a lot of emotions. I felt sad and crying at the end. You're welcome for playing. I thank you for letting me play this game. Um... I wish that this game actually continued on. I wish there was like more information like how- like I get that the cat died and it must have been by the huge monster creature thing but like... I wish there was like more to this game. I get that it was only made in 72 hours which by the way for a 72 hour game that's a great job but I wish there was like more to it like... I wish like there was more monsters in the game that tried to kill me. I will admit that this game is really interesting for trying to combine two things, like a horror game and a pet game aspect thing to it. Trying to take care of a pet that... An apocalypse? I mean, have you ever seen an apocalypse game that gives you a pet animal? No. I don't know a single one except for Fallout 4, and that's an option. So, yeah. Anyway, my name is Cat9453. If you guys like this if you guys like this video why not subscribe to the account like the video and if not because you guys don't have an account that's either way thanks for watching i hope you guys have a great day bye